Hello everybody and today we've got a completely new item here and this is nothing but the Jaguar, Jaguar or however you call it. It's the shower, shower head which is attached to your pipe on top. So what's happened is it's a nice stainless steel heavy duty head but somehow uh, after using it for a while I realized there's a lot of water leaking out from here, leaking out from the sides and some of the nozzles of the shower have actually gotten blocked as you can see here. Most of these nozzles have gotten blocked because of deposits of like you can see here there are deposits of hard water which make it almost impossible for the water to come out smoothly so the good part is that the design is very nice you can see all these are clogged so basically water wouldn't come out of them so the pressure would increase on the other side and water would start coming out of these areas or it kind of leak out from here from the sides and even from the stop portion making it fly all across the bathroom so this is one of the issues faced by the jaguar uh, product uh, after use for a while especially if you have borewell water or well water being used and the uh, salt percentage is quite high so there's a simple solution to this uh, how you do it is actually take it out and a periodic maintenance uh, i would say something like once in two years or once in a year whatever is suitable to you based on the kind of water that you use would be very very uh, helpful the only thing you need to know is that this does not have a screw which can be opened with an allen key you can see this is not an allen key screw as per what i thought it to be uh, however it's one of these other slightly complex screws which is more like it's got like three four edges to it you can see here so i got this in one of these multi-purpose kits but i think it's been uh, coming of use quite a bit so i used this to open all the i think uh, close to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve nuts i've already removed most of them you can see here and once you remove them what you see inside is a very beautiful design uh, if i may call it so just open this as well and there we go this is out and so is this guy I just kept two here so that i could demonstrate it to you i'd already opened this out i thought it'd be good to make a video of this so now this has got basically two three parts one is this upper thing uh, which is the upper plate which is again stainless steel and there's this entry nozzle filter so i would suggest you don't pull this out because it's kind of sealed in there so do not try to remove this you would cause more problem leave that there but just wash it off with a fast spray of water through your health faucet or something that's give, that gives you force or you could even wash it off from the opposite side and I think this is kind of blazed or sealed into this unit but this is the deposit of salt this needs to be cleaned the other part where salt gets deposited is on the silicone rubber sheet so you can see how clearly you have these nozzles all being blocked by the hard water so this can be cleaned using uh, just your hand you know you bend it a little bit and then that just falls off see it just fell off it's in my hand here so this is a very beautiful design because this scaling which happens because of hard water is very hard whereas your silicone is very soft so both being exactly opposite in the properties one just cracks off and falls off from the other so i'd suggest don't use any pin or anything unless you're very careful about how to use it and for this you could actually use vinegar um, or a basic cleaning agent what you'd use to wash your vessels but don't scratch it with a abrasive uh, cleaner like scratch bright or something you'll get a lot of scratches in there so be easier to do this this can just be washed off neatly because it's rubber and the scaling just comes off it like you can see here but this is the actual hard uh, material which is the actual hard water scaling or salt deposit so this you can do with your nail uh, because it's the safest for the silicone it won't cut the silicone with your hand uh, if you are using a blade it could be very dangerous because the blade will just rip the silicone apart too it's pretty simple to do this. I'm going to do that in a bit and then get back to you. Coming to the other part, this is the thing which goes into these grooves, which are the part from where uh, your water comes out. As you can see, this needs a good clean too. But otherwise, this is a plastic plate which holds these two plates together. And the rubber in between actually makes it a beautiful seal. So it's a very nice design if you ask me. Uh, so let's get to cleaning it and let's get back after that. Now, a very simple method to remove the scaling is to just bend it. Like I'll show you there is scaling here. Bend it so it stretches. Use your finger and there it goes. Pop up. Let's do this and pop up. <laughs> Again, let's go through some more. You can see this. this scale it up here bent like this just softly very softly so that's approximately the amount of hard water scaling we got in one shower head we check the system visually hold this right against the light so you know exactly all the holes are empty there's a sure shot method to ensure that all the pores have been opened so you can see everything is pretty much open i think it's a good job so now time to put it back uh, we've cleaned everything this looks really neat you can see the water actually flows in from here this is something we couldn't clean fully because there are some deposits and we might have to use vinegar vinegar is a great agent but at the moment i do not have vinegar so i think i'm going to go ahead and seal this nicely back in and be a good test to see if 
cleaning just this does the job for us or not if it doesn't then i'll be removing it again and doing the complete job this has been cleaned fairly well but again this part where the water actually stands when you hold or have this like this this is the portion where the water kind of stands and keeps dripping from the sides but after this which is prone to the most amount of <coughs> salt deposit let's do one thing now let's place this perfectly well because it has to be a perfect seal and this is placed on top of it and tightened so this is extremely important to ensure there is absolutely no leakage so i think once this is done you can go ahead and it's pretty symmetric so it's got these spin points at all corners so you can actually put it in any way as long as it fits in right that's what i assume <laughs> we'll be no sin we can keep the phone down and try this out so that it kind of fits in the snug way and should be able to perform the way it should as you can see uh, i'm going to tighten this ensure that you don't tighten it too much because if you do then you will see an undulation uh, meaning the metal has actually bent and that shouldn't happen uh, now that this is done, I think it's time to go fix this back on the shower head. Let's see how this works now. I guess that was pretty successful. As you can see here, there's absolutely no leakage from above. At least so far, it's really hot water. But yeah, see the mist coming really well after we serviced it. Also a successful one. It's working really well though. It's coming the sound, so we didn't really go for cleaning, but the other that makes a low leakage so really good thing. It's not gonna waste any more water, it's summer here in Bangalore, we need to save water.